In this video, we're going to talk about polygons. A polygon with three sides is known as a triangle. A polygon with four sides is a quadrilateral. Now, if we're dealing with regular polygons, all four sides are congruent and all angles are the same, which makes this particular quadrilateral a square. A five-sided polygon is known as a pentagon. And a polygon with six sides is known as a hexagon. A polygon with eight sides is known as an octagon. So those are some common names that you want to be familiar with. Now let's say if we have a regular pentagon, what is the measure of an interior angle inside a pentagon? The first thing you need to do is find the sum of all the interior angles in a polygon. And you could use this formula. It's n minus 2 times 180, where n represents the number of sides in a polygon. In a pentagon, there are five sides, so n is 5. So the first thing you want to do is subtract 5 by 2, which is 3. And then take that number, multiply it by 180 degrees. So the sum of all five angles in a pentagon is 540 degrees. Now to find the interior angle, which we can call x, take the total angle and divide it by the number of sides. So we're going to divide it by 5. 500 divided by 5 is 100. 40 divided by 5 is 8. So 540 divided by 5 is 100 plus 8 or 108. So that's going to be the measure of each interior angle inside a pentagon. So every angle that you see inside of it is 108 degrees with a total angle of 540. So now it's your turn. Find the measure of each interior angle inside a hexagon. So first we need to find the sum of all interior angles. So let's use the same formula, n minus 2 times 180. A hexagon has six sides. 6 minus 2 is 4. So then this is 4 times 180, which is 720. So now we're going to take 720 and divide it by the number of sides of a hexagon, which is 6. 72 divided by 6 is 12. So 720 divided by 6 is 120. So that's the measure of each interior angle inside the hexagon. Every angle is 120 degrees.